Now you know how I feel about broken configs. Does it really matter if they work? Well, yes, they don't really matter. If you've got a working config and it's a bit broken, a bit iffy, yeah, it's not the end of the world. You've got to get your work done. Don't worry about it. Who cares, right? But there does come a time where, yeah, you've just got to bite the bullet. Just fix your broken configs. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to fix some broken configs in i3. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, well, why don't we fix these broken configs? And then I'm even happier. I can get work done and get it installed. So, as you can see, I've got my nice terminal here. This isn't in the graphical environment. This is on the virtual machine. So... Um, I played around with my um, testing machine and um, yeah, fixed a few things here. So, well, why don't we start with uh, the i3 config? The actual i3 config. We'll be doing something else that goes back to a previous video where uh, I didn't quite get something right. But anyway, so let's just start from the beginning. So, this is my virtual machine, so I'm going to go into my i3 config so uh, vim dot config i3 config okay now if I remember rightly I had some pretty funky stuff going on in here can't remember exactly okay ah uh, here we go so disable window bar yeah it's not good Hey, look, this thing literally works, literally works, but yeah, we, we're going to get rid of this, okay? So I'm going to leave the little uh, comment, comment there, disable window bar, and uh, what we're going to do is, so we'll just do the same thing, free config, and uh, so we've got the client background there, which I think I've got on here, I can't remember. Client background. Background. Okay. So I haven't got that either. So uh, we will we'll just set it here. So what we got? Client background. Is this really going to matter? I don't know. Maybe I'm not fixing my thing after all, but we're just going to do it. I think there's six in there. Why is it commented out? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is something I was playing around with. So this, is, in theory, just means it's a black background. But I think this is for i3. But when I load Xterm, it's going to be loading um, black background, white text, whatever. So, But I'm just going to go with it. It works. Don't worry about it. Hey, look, it's not thrown in error, so calm down calm down so what we got here so this is where we were going wrong we want this default border at pixel 2 for me that's just nice look at that little border there and default floating border pixel 2 whatever that's what we're going with okay I really got to set up my vim config as well because I double J to escape I don't press escape and I don't use caps lock probably should use caps lock but whatever we use JJ on this channel. That's that's a good standard, but I need to set up. So we're going to go default um, border. Can't see. Can you see my ThinkPad? There we go. Yeah, you can see the ThinkPad. That's what you really come here for. The ThinkPad. Okay. Default border pixel two. Lovely. What have we got next? Default floating. Nothing works when I do it on camera, just my like hot mess. What am I doing? Default. Did I spell default right? Floating border. Mm. Need to put pixel 2. Don't want another broken config again, do I? Alright, that looks kind of okay. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Yeah. Okay, let's right quit out of that. So. That looks good. So now we are going to go into X default. So this 
should fix that horrible, horrible issue I had where um, X term would do that visual bell flash, but it, I think it was more irrespective of the visual, blare, visual bell um, and more down to me not setting the background, foreground and the reverse video thing I don't think is needed. So we're going to copy we're going to copy my X defaults config on my machine. Um, I've got all this stuff here as well. I don't really care on my virtual machine. Hey, look, you can have whatever you want if you just what you like. I don't even remember what I've got, but we're going to try and fix uh, that flashing thing. Maybe I'll come back to some more defaults in the future. I kind of want to get into the actual TTY a bit more. That's a bit why I'm doing what I'm doing in the TTY anyway, on a virtual machine. This is obviously the graphical environment, whatever. I don't want to confuse myself too much. I just want to know what what was what, whatever. Okay, so let's do this. X term dot uh, VT100. What is with all this syntax stuff? Foreground. For, foreground white. Okay, is that right? You want the foreground white? Yeah, because that's text. Okay, X term VT100 background. We are not using white backgrounds on this channel. Okay, we are not. I'm not having it. Uh, so, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna turn reverse video off because, yeah, I don't. I don't want to criticize the Arch Wiki and other configs, but I can't have that flashing stuff, and this should fix it. This should fix it. Okay. Um, that's what I want on this. So, oh, I haven't got Visual Bell Force on here. Okay, we're going to add in something else. This might not be needed. This might not be needed. Well, it should be needed. And obviously, I think because the last video I did it on my this testing machine that wasn't running the virtual machine when I did it, whatever. So that's why I'm doing this now as well in here. But as you can see, look, if I load up, look, no flashing, none, beautiful, none flashing, no bell sound, no visual bell sound, nice, right board, right amount of border at two pixels, perfect. What else do you need? Right, so. Uh, concentrate, concentrate. My worst mistake is not concentrating. All these mishaps, but I know you come here for the mishaps. Don't pretend you don't. I know your game. Right. X term visual bell false. Will this work? Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Save this. Let's start X. Let's load a terminal. Oh, that looks good. Nice, nice amount of width there on the um, on the borders, don't you think? Don't you think? Oh, that's lovely. It doesn't look like there's any flashing. Oh, magnificent. I could do this forever. There we go. So I fixed my horrible configs. If you've been copying me making terrible configs that just work kind of now you can fix them too you can fix them just do what I did that should fix it and uh, there we go you know what to do fake YouTube like comment subscribe uh, that's me done that's it later